Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings here. Um, all the links you need, extended readings, personal readings, everything is in the description box below. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at this weekend for you, starting at the time you're listening to this, all the way through May 26th. And on the 23rd, we're starting with the full moon in Sagittarius. This is known as the full flower moon beginning on this weekend here. So the thing about this full moon in Sag, which says, look at the bigger picture. The energy of this full moon is about taking a step back and not worrying, allowing things to just flow as they normally would. So the flower moon is representative of the time of year when nature blooms. But understand when things begin blooming, it's because we've allowed things to bloom, okay? Prior to the actual blooming uh, in nature, things are being prepared, nature's being prepared, and it's being nourished. And once we are nourishing, we don't control the bloom, we just step back and allow the magic to happen. And this is the overall message for you to contemplate over this weekend. And the message is also to take time out for a mini break or an adventure this weekend. Be confident without being overconfident. Find a balance between speaking your mind and saying too much. And pretty much sometimes, like I said, you need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. So it means what do you see when you step back about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? And if anything, the time now is to count your blessings, even if you don't yet exactly have what you want. This card for the weekend, this full moon card, is a reminder that we often have to take a, a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. There's a big wide world to see beyond your backyard, Virgo. It's about having fun and being prepared to sail into uncharted territory. It's about big ideas versus the details. No matter what, this full moon, this flower moon, encourages you to look at the bigger picture. See things. See beauty. Find the beauty in things. The flower moon. And if you guys didn't realize or you don't know, flowers are my most favorite, precious thing in nature, in the world. I just... Whenever I look at flowers, they just bring me peace. I often take pictures of flowers in photography. I just find it so relaxing and so wondrous to look at flowers and just contemplate how they're all so unique and different and so full of color. And, and some are just plain white, some are just plain black. But there's just this energy of like the beauty and the essence of flowers that I just personally find so fascinating and relaxing. So if you enjoy flowers, if you're one of those people that enjoys going to the gardens or seeing the flower shows, if you have an opportunity to be out in nature this weekend, to contemplate how the thing with nature is that it just keeps going when it's unaffected, it just survives on its own. Um, you'll never see a bird <laughs> worrying about where its next meal is gonna come from. All of nature is in sync, and so the message is to be as in sync with nature as you can over this weekend. Now, I just want to see here. I got a few cards that I'm, that I'm going to select for the weekend to see what else might come up for you besides you are engaging in any kind of meditative practice or just stepping back and finding peace in your life. Okay. So some of you do have a vacation and you will be traveling soon. You could be traveling over this weekend. This weekend there's a vacation planned. You also have, all right, you've got communicate. So there may be a communication of some sort coming to you over this weekend or you may be texting or talking with someone where there is a compromise that gets worked out of forgiveness or working something out. Now let's take a look at this vacation. Okay, you've got King of Swords here. So this is, you know, for some of you, you could be in the energy of the King of Swords where you are taking, a, getting some clarity about where you want to go, what you would like to do. Some of you might want to climb a mountain. Some of you might just want to go relax in a resort beach 
area, tropical area. Some of you might just want to make a vacation out in the backyard with your grandkids, maybe go camping or do something um, with family or friends or with someone in particular. There may also be an air sign in your life who's doing the same thing um, in regard to communicating perhaps with you. Um, may want to try to work something out with you or figure out some type of a vacation to take with you over this weekend. Yeah, a lot of plotting and scheming, even some financial decisions. Um, somebody here even wanting to know, I feel, or is thinking about or looking at their money, trying to decide, like, what's it going to cost for a plane fare or something yeah, look at that initiation of communication. So there's going to be some type of communication, definitely some talks, some plans being made, um, trying to figure out how to overcome some maybe some financial obstacles to being able to take some type of vacation. So a lot of communication over the weekend about a vacation or about time away or traveling. Okay. So you also have spy okay so some of you may be taking this weekend also uh, looking for a place to live doing some research um, either moving purchasing or selling or looking for a place with your partner um, there is somebody doing it you could be doing it. another person could be doing it um, could be just someone who works in a real estate industry of some sort and you're looking at the price of housing how much things may be costing what things are going to cost like you know how much things are going to cost looking at inflation looking at numbers a lot of that energy playing out so let's see what else is going on here with this oh yeah look at that that's you virgo it looks like it's you who's looking to see looking at luxury places, <laughs> some of you. Um, <clears throat> some of you might want to be, th th have a dream to live in a multi-million dollar home, you know. Um, Virgo, it looks like, I. this looks like it's a Virgo that's, that's pretty well off and financially stable. Yeah, this is all about maybe your manifestation. Some of you are doing some of that vision board work or you have done it or you have it on your vision board that um, you want to live in a particular place where it's going to cost a lot of money. It could be anything. Um, some of you might be just looking to live in one of those super expensive RVs, do you know, where they cost like 200 grand or like a lot of money. Um, and they're equipped with every feature. <laughs> Some of you might be thinking about remodeling or uh, like a tiny home or um, something like it's very much doing a lot of research and looking at all the options with the magician is total like creativity, um, manifesting or building something on your own and looking at all this money. So this weekend looks like a lot of creative research for you um, to either bring you more money for selling or reselling, investing, um, and something to do with your residence or um, a residence with a partner or connecting with a partner and moving in with someone. And so could it be a love partner? Of course, it could be a friend, a sibling. You could be doing it for other people. Uh, a lot of if you work in real estate or something along those lines or mortgages or titles and things like that, you could be doing a lot of that over this weekend. So basically you're working, which is the nine of pentacles. That's a card of working. So pretty cool. Oh, OK. So you also have pets. So some of you might be getting a new pet or giving a current pet more love. Oh, look, intimacy. OK, <laughs> so. um. Okay, there's emotional chemistry with your pet, perhaps, or thinking about an old pet, but <laughs> initially I was like, oh, hell no, somebody's not having a sexual relationship with their dog. Okay, so I was just, 
like initially I saw that, but that wasn't the message I received. <laughs> um, but I will say that some of you, if you have a pet that's not neutered or gets out or something along those lines, um, you might want to be careful because if that, you don't try to have a, like a litter of puppies or kittens or anything uh, like a I'm seeing a multiplication, reproduction here. Somebody's pet might be uh, like out roaming the streets being a player <laughs> um, and is either getting or is either getting a pregnant or making another, <laughs> making another, someone's pet is, you know, all right, anyway. Watch out for puppies or kittens. Watch out for these uh, li litters that are going to come about. Now, some of you might be like, yes, I already know my my cat or my dog or whatever animal you have. Um, there may be that animal is giving birth over the weekend. So expect some kitties or puppies or something along those lines. It's, really, it's just too cute. I can't stand it. It's too cute over this weekend. Okay. Um, now, some of you might be breeders, or you might be getting a pet from a breeder as well, or maybe you recently did, but this is for the weekend going forward. So yeah, okay. You know what? I didn't clarify that because I don't feel like I need to. Um, challenges. Make a decision, work on inner healing. Now, when I see this, the first thing I think is this is physical work. So some of you are going back to the gym, okay? Okay. Um, and you're going to like start working out hardcore. Some of you maybe you're going to start lifting weights. You're going to push one of those heavy tires around. There is an energy of challenges, um, pushing obstacles out of the way. You know, physical activity helps greatly with inner healing work, you know, um, because it gives a sense of calm in the body, mind, and soul. So I always encourage any kind of physical activity, whatever your age, whatever you're capable of doing. I don't care if you're in a wheelchair, get out there and roll around, go sit in um, nature, look at flowers over the weekend with this flower full moon. But I do feel like challenge yourself to something. And you don't have to, like if you've never... Um, like if you're a couch potato and you decide this weekend you're going to go climb Mount Everest, that's kind of dumb. Um, I feel like prepare yourself to do that and you have to start somewhere and work your way up. So what I mean by that is you can do anything, Virgo. You don't have to be that person who, you know, tomorrow I want to go run a 5K if you're not used to being out there walking every day. You can do a little bit each day. Everything builds. You have to build momentum to get stronger, to face your challenges, to be able to overcome your challenges. You have to apply yourself however much you're capable of doing, maybe pushing yourself a little more once you feel like, okay, that's enough. No, maybe add a few more minutes or, or um, 20 more minutes to something or some extra reps or whichever to challenge yourself over this weekend. And you also have, yes, luck is on your side. So I feel like positive things are going to come from this. And I also heard if you see a ladybug this weekend, that's a sign that I feel like... Um, not only love is coming or someone that you um, love is thinking about you, that's a sign, and also that luck is coming, luck is on the way. So any challenges that you perceive this weekend, um, take one of them and push yourself through one of these challenges because I feel like you're going to come out on the other side very lucky. You're going to find yourself really amazed by what you're capable of doing this weekend, the result no matter how tiring it might be or what you must do. some For some of you, I just heard the challenge is you need to stop traveling so much. That might be a challenge for one of my Virgos here where they're constantly on the go and they don't take the rest that they need. The challenge may be for you to take the weekend, like I was saying, and get into a meditative state to take some time to just sit still. For some people, that is a great, huge challenge. Some people just want to go, 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 go. They always like keep them busy. Um, yeah, so whatever your challenge is, whatever you find the greatest difficulty in, um, challenge yourself to try to overcome that over the weekend. Oh, look at that. 
There you go. So for most people, though, the challenge is to push forward physically. Um, the Ten of Wands, that's always my labor card. It's over. It's feeling exhausted. Like I said, for some, the challenge is to stop working and to take some time out over the weekend if you have free time. I don't care if you work over the weekend and you have a lunch break or you get some type of a break. Go take a walk outside or just go sit and calm your mind. Okay. But for most of you, this challenge here um, is to either push yourself beyond what you normally do, even if it's only one little bit beyond what you normally do, to definitely do it. Okay. Some of you, the challenge is... <laughs> it's such a strange message. For some of you, the challenge is to put your bikini on and totally be okay with what you see in the mirror. Because no matter what, I don't care how perfect someone is viewed, everyone has their their own personal flaws that they just haven't quite accepted. Some of your challenge is to accept the way you look in the mirror, whether that's fully clothed or skimpily clothed. Um, even if some of you guys out there are just walking around in a loincloth, um, <laughs> maybe you feel like... I'm looking at these two people look they are uh, one thing I can say about these two people is they have very unique physical attributes um, they are not super super built super super muscular um, they are just in love so it really doesn't matter um, what is this message I'm getting oh I hear that somebody Someone that you love loves you just the way you are, just the way you are, I'm hearing. The way, the exact way you are. Now you might want to feel like, oh, I can do better with this, I can do better with that. That's fine. Self-improvement's a positive thing, right? Um, but also, you have to accept that we can only improve ourselves. We sh you shouldn't have to get yourself in a position to change exactly like all of your specific features because they're beautiful and unique to you but i do feel like there is someone feels very lucky um to know you or have you in their life they look at you like you're if you're in the feminine form it's you looking up at the you're looking up in a spiritual sense for guidance. But I feel like this person looks at you in a more animalistic sense. And although you may not feel perfect about your physical appearance, this person, they don't judge you. They find you super, super attractive and just unique and very, I want to say, sexy in some way. And they'll say yes to you at any time. So I kind of feel like this is a message for you, Virgo, to to hear it. I don't know. Whatever you want to do with it is up to you. But this is a message for you to hear it. And I feel like I don't know if you're going to hear from this person or you will hear or won't hear. It's not really that's not the message. The message is to understand that you are loved just the way you are. Whoa! I just got that Billy Joel song. I love you just the way you are. That's such a pretty song. Oh my God, I love that song. Okay, let's see what else is coming up for you over the weekend. All right, some of you have a date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. Ooh, and you've got a confession. All right, somebody's coming out of the blue over the weekend to tell you that um, they want to go out on a date with you or they want to date you. Let's take a look and see. So you hear about this over the weekend. I don't know why this is a confession. It could be um, forbidden in a sense and like symbolically forbidden like or that it's hmm, could be a friend who has suddenly um, acquired feelings for you or has had feelings for you. And it comes out over this weekend. Yeah, this person like totally is a fool for you. Could be an Aquarius. This person's a fool for you. Takes a big risk. Yep, they've been hiding. 
contemplating for sure, but not revealing it. And then they come out of the blue over this weekend to tell you that they have a thing for you and they would like to date and get together with you and spend time with you. So, yeah, okay, there's definitely a message coming through over this weekend in regards to that. Let's see what else is coming up for you. Okay, and you do have commitment here. Okay, you've got the sun, a very feminine energy I, I'm picking up here. Could be Leo. Um, let's see. A very happy, joyous uh, relationship that will be getting serious over this weekend. For some reason, something's getting serious. And, and so that feels very familiar to yesterday's reading. The Ace of Cups. So, wow. There's some type of proposal or marriage. Um, now, I will say there is a honeymoon here. So, you could be going to a wedding this weekend. That's a lot of fun. It could be an outdoor kind of a wedding. Um, somewhere near, could be like mountains or uh, the sea. Um, so, it could be like a beach wedding. For some of you, there is the honeymoon phase is over and now there's a commitment the the real work someone's totally like there's a new love start here so it could be for some of you that there's a new love start there's honeymoon um energy a phase where everybody's feeling happy and joyous and giggly and in love rose-colored glasses and that's a relationship that's going to become more serious but there is also an energy here um, you either attend an engagement party or um, a wedding or you're having one and people are coming to it and I feel like there's an outdoor event to this yes okay All right, so let's get into it's a lot of different messages over this weekend. I just want to take a quick look at, should we look at some money, finances, that kind of stuff? Let's see anything on the money front. Even though I did see that you were looking like you were well off financially um, and that you may be looking or you will be way, looking, you, you may be well off coming up for you there may be some type of an investment that brings some income or an opportunity to invest okay so you have roll the dice time to put yourself out there this weekend you're hiding your talents and it's time to take a risk and step into the spotlight now so some of you might be thinking about a life or a career in the spotlight it's time to take a risk with that you also have movement you will make good progress now and you will be able to overcome any obstacles in your path big leaps forward are possible so this feels like a strong leap of faith energy that you need to embrace over this weekend as far as taking any kind of a risk not just in career um, but putting yourself out there to be seen is what I'm hearing. Something about being seen. And you also have innovation. You will need to come up with new strategies to keep your plans in motion. Old ways are outdated. Invent, create, and test ideas. So this kind of gives me an energy of like... Take a look and see what's trending, I'm hearing. And reinvent some old outdated things reinvent them to look as if they are new and then test those ideas out i don't know exactly what that means i guess it's kind of like when you hear a song that an artist puts out today that kind of sounds like something say from the 80s uh, maybe it's got some synthesizer music in it but the way it's presented, it sounds new. So it's got like hints of the 80s. So it sounds new, but it's been reinvented. It's kind of like how people would put out a new track and then they would sample old tracks, but they make it like new. So this is something for you to take a look at. I feel like it's building up off of something that was already created. And so the innovation comes in how you can take for example, a piece of clay and turn it into a masterpiece. The clay has already been created, OK? 
okay? You didn't create the clay. You just manipulate the, the clay. So it's a way to manipulate something, to reinvent and recreate this, to make it a masterpiece, and taking the risk with this. Hmm. So that's that. All right, let's see what else do you have. This is interesting. Uh, and this is a very interesting reading for this weekend. Not generally something I find myself messages I usually give out okay let's see uh, messages of love for Virgo messages of love okay balance one person giving too much in a relationship it may be time for you to step back a little bit um, and we were talking about that with full moon and Sagittarius the flower moon that's about looking at the bigger picture and the only way you can see the big picture is if you pan back pan out if you are too close, you'll miss the glorious, what does Bruce Lee say? Um, it's like a finger pointing at the moon. Um, don't look at the finger or you'll miss the heavenly glory. <laughs> right? Step back and look at the whole big picture. And there's a decision. It's time to decide about a particular relationship, Virgo. What do you want to do? What's the decision you need to make? You know that it's time to make that decision now. Okay. And you also have here and now. Your true love is already part of your life. All right. Well, hello. Did you know that? Do you know who they are, Virgo? Do you need to know who they are? I think you know who your true love is. And usually, I mean, everybody kind of knows at least who they are or who they were. And just because something doesn't work out doesn't mean that's not your true love. It just means divine timing either separated you or uh, you haven't come into union yet. Okay. So moving to a safe place over the weekend. Like I said, some of you might be actually moving or relocating. And some of you... Uh, there is an answer I feel like you'll be waiting for over this weekend. Um, just be patient. I'm hearing it will come. You do have take a risk yet again. Um, the message on this card is take a risk. What have you got to lose? Um, starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings and don't overthink things. Overthinking things, that's what is... I heard someone say analysis paralysis. The more you think, the less you move and the less you do. And when you move, especially any kind of physical activity or just constant movement or getting those endorphins up, it actually clears your mind greatly. So it's very therapeutic. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave that there and go into some charms. Okay. Significant signs over this weekend will be a Taurus, Sagittarius, Gemini, and a Virgo. Okay, so that was May. May being a very significant month, as always. Um, May 22nd, which is the time that was yesterday. Okay, so the start of May 22nd, the start of this full moon, coming into the full moon, is a time of profound change, but it's also the biggest change for you is to take a step back and look at the biggest picture, the bigger picture. Okay, so we have August 25th, and I will give you your, uh, someone's, someone uh, is eating lox or likes lox, you know, like lox fish. Um, L-A-O, not sure what that means. Lao, I think it is, is very important. Uh, or means something. Someone is at LAX and in, flying in or out of Los Angeles Airport. Um, someone is 37, September 1st, 1960, or the age 60. Someone is 52 or born in 52, uh, 41, age 41 or born in 41, um, age 38 or born in 38. September 22nd, we have 65, we have 90, someone, um, something significant, a birthday in January, or January was a significant time. Um, I just heard the group Men at Work. They just said Men at Work. 
the very 80s energy. There's Gemini slipped over again. Men at work. Hmm. Oh. And then they said flip that around. Okay. Something new. Something borrowed. Something blue. I just heard. Okay. August 31st, 1991. And also September 16th. QB just told me Queen B. You know, that's funny because earlier today I watched an entire documentary on queen bees and beehives and how bees work <laughs> and like what they do and how they live. And it's, it was so amazing to me because I didn't realize that, you know, queen bees, they just exist to reproduce. And when they, when they fertilize um, eggs after they plant them, um, the bees that are born are female bees, feminine bees. And they are the worker bees, and they do all the work protecting the queen. And if they don't fertilize it, then um, the male bee is born. And the only purpose of the male bee, he doesn't work, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> His only purpose is to um, impregnate, you know, the 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 queen bee. <laughs> That's the only purpose for the male bee, but he's like such a lazy bum. <laughs> I'm like, why is nature, what's going on? And then... Um, and then when the, the, the male bee um, has intercourse with the female bee, the male bee dies. Like his genitals explode. <laughs> I just like... <laughs> I was so fascinated. I was like, wow. <laughs> you know, when you get to be my age, you really do just sit and enjoy certain shows and documentaries. And I just kind of fell upon that. And I was like... Oh, that's interesting. Then I got to that part and I just was blown away. Just like that male bee's scrotum. Totally blown away. So very interesting stuff. Anyway, uh, maybe the queen bee is to tell you. <laughs> maybe you need to go watch that, some of those documentaries. I don't know what to say. I'm done. And um, yeah, the letter I. Okay, let's get a couple charms so that I can just get on with my weekend. <laughs> okay. Oh, get out. Get out. Look, look, look. Are you kidding? What is the odds? What are the odds of all the charms that I'm picking up here? We got a B. Maybe your name starts with B or somebody calls you B. Okay, but here's a B. Something's going on with the Bs. I don't know what's going on with Bs. Um... Uh, fascinating. Okay. Well, I feel like I just, maybe that's just confirmation of what I just told you. I'm not getting anything else. You also have horseshoe, a horseshoe. So this is definitely getting lucky. And I, like I said, I felt like you're, you're, somebody's getting lucky over the weekend. We'll say that. So whatever you're doing, you know, you had a ladybug. Now you have a horseshoe. Maybe you're just going to eat some lucky charms for breakfast or late night snack with some yummy milk. I don't know. That stuff is so good. But um, you might also be someone that puts horseshoes on, shoes on a horse, right? So maybe you're doing that over the weekend. Um, I had, uh, my father had a horseshoe hanging above our uh, front door and, or one of our doors, maybe into the kitchen or something. And I remember I used to look at it and I, I asked him, why is that? What is that? And he said, that's for good luck. So, um, yeah, hang a horseshoe somewhere over your house. Or maybe you already have one somewhere in your door, your doorway, or it's something from your childhood. And it just brings triggers of memory. And then there's also a ship's wheel here. Okay. So, hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds cliche, but they just gave me a um, wheel in the sky. So, obviously, that's a journey song. But the wheel is also the wheel of fortune. I feel like there's a lot of good luck. I think even honeybees, bees represent a form of luck as well. But they also, re oh, and then all the damn pollen. So bees are associated with pollen, right? So that's how they make the honey. We've had so much pollen here where I live. It's been insane. 
And I did not wash my car because every time I wash it, the pollen just comes back onto the car again. And so I have a black colored car and my car looked green and it finally rained today. So it was wonderful because it cleared the whole thing off. But I was just thinking, my God, I'm going to suffocate from all this pollen. I don't know. The theme is bees this weekend. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just leaving it there. All right, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope that this brought you some laughter. <laughs> At least it sure did for me. And um, yeah, I will see you all back here on, let's see, we're coming back on Sunday, the 27th. Well, maybe. Actually, you guys, um, it's Memorial Day here. I'll see if I can upload Sunday's video over the weekend so you'll have it for Monday but if I can't if something comes up then I'll be back on Tuesday okay um but if you guys celebrate Memorial Day or Memorial Weekend I hope that you enjoy your weekend and you have a fantastic holiday pools are opening in some areas so I hope you're able to get to the pool and go swimming and go out in the sun and go to the beach um yeah so all right, you guys, I will see you all next week. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Uh, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.